right, my brother, this one is for you today. You want to stop her from nagging you? I'm going to give you some tips on how to do that. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So, she's been nagging the heck out of you, and you are just sick and tired of it. You love her. You actually want to stay, but you need to figure out a way on how to stop her from nagging you. Today, I'm going to give you five tips on how to do just that. But before I do that, I want to give you guys an actual um, statistic, which is, according to a study presented at a 2003 Society of Personality and Social Psychology conference, nagging can lessen the couple's intimacy. Well, that is a no-brainer, right? <laughs> It's a no-brainer. Like, you don't want to be intimate with somebody that is nagging your dang old neck off. Not your head, your neck. Just just nagging the heck out of you. Just got something to say about any and everything that you do. There is no appreciation behind it. Anyway, here are the five tips. All right, let's jump in. Number one, my brother, to get her to stop nagging, I want you to change how you see her nagging you. Because if you understand what nagging is all about, she's actually screaming out to you to say, Listen, I am hurting. I am hurting. That's what she's saying to you. I'm hurting deep inside. It has nothing to do with really you not taking out the trash or you not putting down the toilet seat or you not calling to say I want X, Y, and Z. It really has nothing to do with that. It really has to do with the pain that she is feeling, which actually brings me into point number two. My brother, I do not want you to react because it does not help the situation. It actually makes it go down the tubes. Don't react to how she is coming at you. Even if it's wrong, don't react. Because if you react, then guess what? It makes the situation even that more intense. And it takes the level of where it could have been a, a, um, a heel. And now you are creating a mountain by reacting. Again, lessening the intimacy. Just understand that that your baby is hurting right now. So don't react. Instead, I want you to lead her emotions because you as the man, you are the leader, right? So you have to influence her emotions by you staying calm and trying to understand exactly what's going on with her in that moment. Which leads me into point number three. You can actually hear her out without any anger or any attitude. Because what better way to let any woman express themselves with you just sitting down and listening and actively listening to what she has to say. Just let her get it off her chest. Let her get it off her chest. Though, that way you are understanding she's feeling heard. You're actually listening to what she is saying. And that way you know how to act accordingly so this nagging about this subject can go away forever. The fourth thing that you can do is be the man and do what y'all do best, which is find a solution. Sit down, talk about it, find a solution, do what you do best as the man. Y'all find solutions all the time because now this is the problem. Find a solution. Help her to stop nagging you. The fifth thing is the simplest thing out there, which is you could just do what she asks you to do. Yeah, I know. We all don't want to feel like we have to answer to anybody. We all want to do things in our own time. But why can't you just go ahead and just knock this thing off of the list, off of your honeydew list? And it doesn't have to be right in that moment that she says it, but why can't you just have it done so she doesn't ask you again? We understand that sometimes you are in the middle of doing something, whether it's a phone call, you might actually be playing a video game, you might be actually doing homework, you might be actually cooking, you might be actually being in a thought process about a project. We get all of that. Nagging comes from the woman, like I said, when she is not feeling heard, but also because she is repeating herself over and over and over again about this particular thing that she wants to get done. She has you there. Y'all are a team. So act like y'all a team. When she asks you to do something, I'm certain that she does it. Maybe not right in that moment, like I'm saying, but I'm certain that you don't have to keep asking her to do this very thing because she wants to please you. And that's the only thing that she's asking for is for you to want to please her back. So just go ahead and knock the task out. But if for some reason you do not knock the task out, do the top four things, which is don't have an attitude. 
when she brings it to you. Understand that she is hurting. Sit down. Let her just get it out. Let her hash it out and get out everything that she needs to say about that particular subject. And finally, go ahead and find a solution. All right, so has this ever happened to you? Do you have a nagging partner? What do you do about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. I love to read you guys' comments. You guys are spoiling me, and I just love it. All right? So if this is your very first time to I Love Me, 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 make sure that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button to my channel or the icon with my lovely face because here at I Love Me, 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 I'm supplying you guys with the tools and tips so you can have healthy romantic relationships so we together can dramatically decrease the divorce rate because a lot of us did not get the tips and tools from our parents on how to have a happy, healthy, romantic relationship. So I am passing that knowledge on to you. So make sure that you subscribe. Definitely give me thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And of course, share this with any of your friends that you know that need it. I will see you in the next video. Two finger salute.